Today, I would like to share with you some brief information about the Kaizen technique, which is one of the most known lean management techniques. It should be noted that I have prepared this video for the Ankara branch of Turkish Association for Quality, also known as Kalder Ankara in Turkish. According to Deming, the quality guru states that if we don't have to survive, we don't have to change. Kaizen is a combination of two Japanese words, Kai meaning change and Zen meaning better. The purpose of the Kaizen technique is to improve the production of goods and services by making them better, faster and cheaper. Let's briefly explore the Kaizen related concepts. Kaizen focuses on making minor improvements ranging from 1% to 10% at most. On the other hand, Kaikaku aims for major improvements ranging from 25% to 50% by implementing significant changes. Lastly, Kakushin aims for a substantial improvement of 90-95% by redesigning the existing systems with new technology and perspectives through innovation. However, employees in organizations often resist change whether it is at a small or large scale. This resistance stems from fear of the unknown and uncertainty that comes with change. So, now let's find the answer to the question of where to start the change. If you are not sure where to start Kaizen in your organization, use the 4 Ks of the Kaizen. Observe your organization and start with one of the followings. Kusai means things that smell bad. Kitsui means things that are hard to do or are in dark areas. Katanai means things that are dirty. Kiken means things that are dangerous. The Kaizen technique involves three indispensable elements. These are Gemba, which refers to the real workplace, Genbutsu, which pertains to the real material, and Genjitsu, which signifies the real data or tangible data. In general, Kaizen follows five steps. Go to problematic place yourself, means Gemba, to understand the situation firsthand. See the problem and comprehend it, Genbutsu, by observing and gathering relevant information. Create or find a workaround to address the problem and prevent recurrence. Find the real cause based on the data, which is Genjitsu, to identify root cause of the problem. Standardize the solution so that it can be applied across the entire organization, ensuring sustained improvement. These steps are critical in implementing Kaizen effectively and achieving continuous improvement within an organization. The question, is Kaizen limited to just organizations? No, it can be applied personally as well. Sharon Harrington offers three recommendations for using the Kaizen technique at an individual level. These are, change your perspective as an employee, change the way you do the work, change your way of thinking. My friends, remember that personal change starts with yourself and can positively impact your work environment. If you want to see desired results from the improvement techniques you apply, it is crucial to embrace personal change along with organizational change. Sharon Harrington also provides six tips for personal change, which include avoid unnecessary work that doesn't contribute directly to your tasks and if possible stop doing it. If you can't stop it, try to reduce it. Explore alternative ways of doing your job. Document your improvement ideas. Practice implementing your new ideas, at least give them a try. Share and explain the new ideas you have implemented and review the results of their application. Friends, I appreciate your attention to my video about Kaizen technique which I have prepared it for Calder Ankara. If you are interested in learning more about Job Analysis Lean and Six Sigma Management, I encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Dr. Bahtiyar Eren for in-depth insights. Remember to stay curious, optimistic and proactive in your pursuit of continuous improvement in your work. Thank you for watching this video.